time we would do the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech where we showed on video. And now we have these iPods. So we had the idea of actually putting it on the iPod and being able to show the kids that way. Um, so it was something that we both tried yesterday for the very first time. Yeah. And it was, I loved doing it. The kids, I've never heard them so quiet in my life, but because they were paying attention. And they absolutely love the chance to work with iPods since it's forbidden to use iPods in school. It was an educational, um, it was an educational reason to use iPods, so it was awesome for them. And the kids said to me, oh, are these your iPods? And I said, no, they're the school's iPods. And they said, well, we've never used them in school before. Hello, my name is Diane Dennis, and I'm here to explain and just share with you some of the things that the iPod has done in my classroom. Ms. Carmelita Graham introduced the iPods to the classroom. She had already pre-read the story into the iPod. Each uh, section of the classroom had three or four stories added into the iPod. I have two reading sections, a red section and a blue section. The students were shown by Ms. Carmelita how to work the iPods, turn them on and off, and find their stories. When she came into the classroom and showed the students the iPods, it was a new gadget for them. They were excited different technology that just engages students and that's what it's all about. I know Larry does great work with technology and when we have the opportunity to hook up with a local business to supply money for our grant programs, we thought it was a perfect fit for Mr. Perry to work with his students with the iPods. I had been able to attend many workshops, both at the state level and nationally, that showed great work with iPods engaging students in the classrooms. I was able to hear about programs that were used for ESL students to learn English. I saw programs that dealt with reading recovery using the iPods. Just overall engagement of our students, especially our special ed population, with the iPods and the fun technology that just engaged them in learning processes. Hi, my name is Marissa Colon, and I'm the bilingual teacher here at the Lakeside Middle School. I teach math, science, social studies, language arts, and both Spanish and English. The different levels of English speakers in my class, I have beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as I have classified students in the classroom. Um, this year was the year that I decided to say I need to bring more technology into the classroom. And we have Mr. Perry, who's in our building, and I approached him and I said, um, can you help me out? What can we do um, to motivate and enhance my teaching and my students' experience in the classroom?